Since HMRC's ill-conceived and hurried implementation of IR35 almost 20 years ago, it's become the norm that hundreds of thousands of people in the UK are no longer employees, but work on a contract or freelance basis through a personal services company or some kind of arrangement. Many of these arrangements were missold to innocent people as a way of getting paid when working on a contract basis. Employers have encouraged this so they don't need to pay all the tax and national insurance that they have to pay for their own employees. In fact, it's coming to light that huge organisations like the BBC, the NHS, and even the government themselves have insisted on this for years. There's no financial advantage for the people working through these schemes. They don't have the security of actual employment. They get no sick pay or holiday pay. They have to pay for their own pension, their own insurance, and any training they need to do their job. And don't forget, not being an employee means the big employers can simply get rid of them whenever they choose. No need for redundancy or other protections. But I suppose that's all fine, as it's entirely legal, and HMRC haven't done anything about it since the year 2000. Though we are hearing stories in the press now about how members of its parliament feel it's immoral to force people to work in this way. But for the first time, in 2016, HMRC announced that many of these schemes do not work. And when they said do not work, what they really meant was that they considered them to be tax avoidance schemes. They didn't contact the hundreds of thousands of people in these schemes to warn them. They just updated their website, which nobody looks at. And overnight, ordinary people became tax avoiders. Of course, they're not tax avoiders. They're just ordinary people like you and me, stuck working in one of those hundreds of schemes that were invented after IR35 was introduced, many of which still exist quite legally today. But now that HMRC have said that these schemes do not work, they want to get all the tax and national insurance paid as if everyone was an employee. But how? All of us have been happily filling in tax returns and paying tax year after year. HMRC always took our money and never said we were doing anything wrong. So what are HMRC planning to do? Well, they aim to introduce a retrospective taxation on us all in 2019, so that anyone who they say was in a scheme that they've now decided does not work must pay all the extra tax and national insurance that HMRC think they owe from working over the last 20 years. And that might be achievable if you're lucky enough to be a high-earning football player, but for the rest of us, it probably means bankruptcy. Even the Supreme Court recently ruled that liability for this new HMRC demand must lie with the employers, not with the individuals who innocently joined these schemes. The government have no right to pursue workers for unpaid tax. To retrospectively tax individuals would be undemocratic and frankly unthinkable. So why aren't HMRC chasing the employers? And why isn't there some regulation that protects us workers and holds HMRC, accountants and the scheme operators to account for creating and supporting this whole sorry mess and doing nothing about it for decades? Retrospective taxation undermines the very core of taxpayer protections in this country, and it's a vindictive cash grab, yet HMRC seem to be getting away with it. They've told our members of parliament that we're all tax avoiders and it will bring in millions of pounds of much-needed tax income for the government, and everyone's fallen for their blatant lies. HMRC only announced the schemes do not work in 2016. How can they now implement policy that retrospectively taxes individuals, not companies, going back 20 years? If you think you may be one of the hundreds of thousands of individuals facing life-changing, unfair taxation that could bankrupt you and your family in 2019, or if you agree that this situation is unjust and you want to find out more, visit or join Loan Charge Action Group at hmrcloancharge.info for just and fair treatment by the government we elected. We won't stand by and see hard-working, ordinary people ruined by HMRC's incompetence, unfairness and inaction over the last 20 years.